welcome back to Red Dirt Resale. I'm out here, I'm all by myself today, and she's not feeling well today. Leah wanted to come with me, but we just didn't have enough help at the store. She had to stay at the store to help there. So I'm here by myself at U-Haul. I've got two units. I paid $350 for one, I paid $60 for the other one. It might end up being the $60 better than the $350. I almost didn't even bid on the $60 one, but I was looking for another unit here to, to add on. It looked, the main picture they had just showed mattresses, but then when I clicked on it, I saw there was a lot of good looking stuff in there. So it was at $50, bid one time, I won it for 60. But I don't know, we'll see when we get in there. But 350 and $60, so $410 total. I'm just waiting on them to come unlock the door, but you can see it's an inside facility, but they're both here on the ground floor. There's my truck. And luckily we don't have to go them stairs. I've done that before and it sucks but one of them is right down this hall and one of them is right down the next hall, so it's not bad at all. But just wait now and then we're gonna crack these open and we'll see what we have. All right, we got the units unlocked now. I used to come here all the time. I haven't been here in years. Used to come here all the time when it was live. I'd always come on this route. They really actually cleaned this place up. It used to be really old and dark and dingy and now it's all nicely painted and they got new doors. Everything looks just nice and shiny and everything. But this is the more expensive one. Like I said, it might end up that the much cheaper unit over there turns out way better. Not sure. Or they may turn out both to be bad. I'm not sure on that either until we start looking at it. But this one was 350 and it looked like from the little bit you can see with the, from the pictures, as you can see here, look, there's, you can't see a ton, but it looked like maybe there's some new stuff in there. You can see right here, you can see, look at this hunting knife and then I could just see these kind of boxes scattered on the top and then other than that can't see much I definitely could see that the big bag of rice that's not really a good sign you usually don't want to see the food in a unit because that will draw in the rats but hoping maybe there's a bunch of new stuff in here but we're about to find out and see oh and I could see this these frames and I could see the plastics I could tell those were new and that was new I always say from the boxes you never know they could be empty boxes or there could be paperwork shoved in them but I got a feeling that there's gonna be some new stuff in here. But we are about to find out here. I'm gonna start loading this thing up. All right, first box here, right on the top. Let's see what we got besides the knife here. Here's a big old case. Is it full of CDs or DVDs? It's full, it's, it's heavy. Um, looks like we got movies. Oh my gosh, ton of movies, ton of movies. Spider-Man, James Bond, Castaway, and they're all, they all look real. That one right there looks like it's bootleg, but for the most part, all the other ones look real. So we got the knife here, survival hunting knife. We got a little tool set here, new, new nothing fancy. New sheet set, there's some new colanders. There's another tool set down in the bottom. Little desk organizer. I guess this is more DVDs right here. Yep, more DVDs. Friday, I don't know what some of this, Ten Commandments, Big Mama's House. So, all DVDs and those two boxes, and they're full, there's a, man, they're heavy. All right, let's keep going here. Hold on one second, somebody's sending me a message. All right, moving along here. Oh, right underneath that container some knives let's open this up and see if this is actually in here so you got like a cutting board and then the knives are in there it appears looks like it's all nice and new all right the first container here that's sealed up this one is heavy let's see <laughs> and it's all food let's see the date on this stuff 2017 it's new it's not open but it's apparently it's all gonna be old 2015 all right hopefully there's not a lot of food in here past that this could be food too it's it's heavy and it's right next to it nope this is books oh but then there is food underneath oh not just food what we got brand new soap but lots of rice zatarain's rice but we got some Egyptian books, Ancient Egypt. Here's another one, Wonders of Egypt. But yeah, lots of food. 
too bad it's not newer because I could sell it if it was newer, but man, that's that's years out of date. 2015, 2017. This looks like it's brand new. Oh, it's got the scrap still on it. Oh, it's a safe. Century safe. It definitely feels heavy like a safe. That's a score right there. Man, this thing's heavy. All right, now somebody's calling me. All right, so brand new safe. And then we got obviously not a brand new microwave. It's actually clean inside, just a little bit dirty on the outside. Look at this. We got a guitar. <clears throat> the the neck here and where the strings and everything attach. I do see a lot of clothes and stuff, so I guess it's going to be a mixture. We're going to have some new stuff and some not new stuff. Let's look at some of these boxes that are kind of thrown all up on top here. This is a this is a griddle. Let's see. That's tape. That's tape. So pretty sure this has never been opened. But a nice griddle there. Then right here we got a Cuisinart little sandwich grill. I'm just gonna pop this just to see what it looks like. Look, brand new there. So I don't know if they were just over shopping or what yet. The Big Boss Egg Genie. Here's another one. This is an egg cooker. It's the same thing, just a different brand. Ambiano. All right, let's go up here and see this box. What is this? Does it say anything? It says Groupon. Large red. Oh, I think it's one of those books that you can lock stuff in. See, I hear that, that's the key. That's, it looks like a dictionary, but you actually lock stuff in it. So I guess there's two of them. That's pretty cool. That's cool because you can put it on your shelf and blend in with your books and then you can hide something inside of it. All right, here's another. This looks like something else new. X Chef. Um, 12 piece knife set. So right now we are definitely adding up, adding up. Here's some brand new frames. The total is just is going up very, very quickly on this one to get us to that $350 look here. Brand new knife set. And we got a lot of stuff to go. It's an eight by 10, so it's eight foot that way, 10 foot wide. And obviously it's not as tall as some of them. It's about, I don't know, that would probably be like six and a half, seven feet tall if you go up to there. Right here, you're, it's right at the top of my head, so about six foot tall on those beams there. All right, let's see what's in here. And look at this, man. It looks like all new, I mean, a lot of new stuff anyways. Lots of CD cases. And this thing's full of more movies. A little RC helicopter. Pocket hose. Here's a new belt. There's another RC helicopter, a little vacuum cleaner. Down in there, there's a few of these, the um, headlamps. That one looks a little bit, might be a little bit corroded. HDMI splitter. What is this? It's like, this looks like a Superman toy. Oh, it's a Superman helicopter. Oh, and then what is this right here? Here's another helicopter. So that's a good box right there, man. All right, I moved this helicopter that's right here and then down behind there, look at this thing right here. All right, 24 karat gold on silver. It's a Ronald Reagan coin. This is its proof silver. Um, looks like it's probably like an ounce. Antique bronze, proof bronze, antique silver. Hmm. So I don't know if that's that. Can, I don't think that's all the way, all the way silver. Uh, maybe they're just talking about the finish. 
is antique silver. I don't know. I'll have to look at it close, more closely later on. There's a little. All right, so very good box right there. And look, man, tons more stuff to go. All right, so far so good. But yeah, I had a gut feeling on this unit. That's why you could, it didn't really look like a whole bunch, but that's why I went up to 350 and I was going to prepare to go higher. Because I just had that feeling like it looked like it might be a lot of new stuff based off of just a little bit you could see on the top. This was the only thing that scared me, but I think we're going to be good. Look, more new stuff. Glue gun. Correction tape. So this might be kind of like office stuff. Look at this brand new you get the little tester and you got the wire cutters man webcam what is that logitech i guess a speaker kind of looks like a projector but i think it's just a speaker and just more goodies down in there umbrella a lot of wires and stuff down there alarm clock Logitech like a, a mouse or something so it looks like that has Mainly a lot of like wiring and stuff, but there may be some good look Electronics down in there once I'm able to really look Let's keep going on the Containers here. This one's heavy. We got an exercise machine. There looks like a um, gazelle Thing you stand on and your legs swing back and forth like you're a gazelle All right we got a pan. Easy mat. All right, this is going to be like shampoo and stuff. And some of it, maybe you've been, look, that feels like it's brand new. Luminous Colgate toothpaste. Tongue spray. Um, more body wash. So this is all like bathroom stuff, and it looks like it's a lot of new stuff. Now, that, sh that thing right there looks pretty rough. But overall... Carnuba car wax feels like it's mostly full. All right, let's keep on sliding down here. And more food there. All new, but like I said, unfortunately, 2013. Oh, stinks too. All right, I wonder what's in one of these bags here. Let's check a garbage bag. Just to see. You can kind of open it a little bit without. There's a shoe. Look, we got. Yeah, there's more new new stuff here. New packages. There's like some insoles for shoes, shower head. I don't really want to rip it all the way open because it'd be hard to close. These are new shoes, but what are they? Some kind of off-brand shoe. Crane. Is Crane an off-brand shoe? I've never heard of it. But... Oh, okay, we can get to the guitar now. Let's see. It's an Ashland guitar. What is that in there? It's one of those little, okay, it's one of those little moisture packets. But yeah, as you can see, Ashland AT26 acoustic guitar pretty nice and clean see that's like actually that's just that's not a scratch that's something on it I don't see really any scratches maybe right there's a little ding on it there's a couple other marks but I think it'll come off <laughs> needs a little adjusting but that it's always good the guitars always sell even ones even the little toy ones but look right here pure LP record player it's like it's an ion pure lp turntable toaster um well, i thought it was an air mattress but it's actually inflatable chair and stool we got a dish rack we got a couple of these fans right here there's another um not a sandwich maker but kind of like a george foreman grill type thing and look there's more and more stuff like that all in there there's a brand new step ladder here's a machete new machete so definitely a good unit and the other unit it's going to be a good i mean 60 bucks and just wait till you see it it's going to be a good one too so this is definitely definitely turning out it's going to be a good day as far as 
storage units here. A three piece decorative glass wall clock. I'm back loading her up. Lots and lots of new stuff. New stuff, every, everything I move, I just see more and more new stuff. And then the containers, so far. Look at this, dang, no, Blu-ray Rider. Easy egg wedge, light bulbs, premium sound, like a little Bluetooth speaker. More DVDs or CDs. DVDs. I keep opening them, hoping, because DVDs are <laughs> not the best to sell, but man, I was hoping maybe one of them was full of video games or something. Bluetooth speaker. Because video games would be good, especially certain video games. Um, we got some Bluetooth little earphones there. Here's some more earphones. Look, there's one of those helicopters, but it's a Batman. Like the last one that, that was a Superman. That's a Batman version of the same thing. So more and more goodies. Every time we open something, they just keep coming. The only bad thing we get is food. Man, it's all brand new too. Some of it would probably be decent enough to eat, but I just can't really sell stuff that's just that old. Because like I said, it's like 2013, 2015. All right, what's in some of these bags? Let's see. And it's more of the same look. Brand new Dr. Scholl's arch support. Brand new LED smart bulb. Crazy. There's another nice bulb. This, that's a Bluetooth bulb, look. It's one that you plug into. It's a light, but then it'll also be a Bluetooth speaker. So you can just play music right from the from your light. Here's another bag. It feels, it feels like more packaged stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna open that because it just makes it hard to move, but it's more packaged items. Maybe this person was like the one we got here recently. They were a um, a kleptomaniac. Maybe these people were too. Panini maker. I'm about full on this cart. Let me move this step ladder. Look, just more and more boxes. There's some weights, it looks like. Bags. What is that? A Polaroid antenna? A oh, motorized rotating antenna. Here's another chair. Another blow up chair. Tie and belt rack. What, what that little crumbly stuff is, but there's a heated little neck massager. <laughs> Crazy. Let's pull down this box right here and let's see what we got. Oh, it's heavy. This is all cleaning supplies. Man, look at that. Brand new Ajax, dishwashing liquid. There's a knife sharpener. Oh, there's a neutral bullet. That, I mean, that's a used one. Part of it, anyways. We'll see if we find the rest of it. Inflatable buffet. Okay. It's actually kind of cool. You fill it up with ice, and then you kind of set your dishes on top of it. See, there's another piece to the neutral bullet. There's a piece to it right there. There's a piece there. So it looks like that's going to be there. I'm falling by once I move that container. Now what do we got? Cutting board set. That's the antenna. What is that? It's a home beverage maker. And it's all just good sellable merchandise. Sunbeats Intelligent Household System, smart, colorful LED wireless speaker bulb. like a smart watch of some sort and we got some headphones these are able planet lynx audio 
I wasn't that in there. Okay, like that. Remote control. There's an iron. Travel grooming set. There's some kind of blender down in there. Pyrex. More bulbs. Lots of these bulbs. Magic wand. Alright, so just lots of new little stuff. There's a little engraver. Tons and tons of sellable merchandise. Now that looks like it might be a clothing rack. Maybe, yeah. Maybe they were selling this stuff. Look, more new stuff. They like headphones. There's a nice little mobile power outlet. That's a good one. Here's a rotary tool. Great neck rotary tool. And more and more stuff on down in there. It just keeps on coming. Hole punch. There's a couple hole punches. Easy transfer cable for Windows Vista. All right, I cleared a good bit of stuff out without really showing. I was just loading it up, but more of the same. Look right here. Sheet sets. Brand new sheet sets. What is this container? It's like smashed. That's a part of something. I think that goes with that. Ooh. That was food in there. Unfortunately, it's smashed and there's something leaking out. But let's look up here before I deal with that. kind of hung down there but there's a brand new it's a $65 um, backpack oh it's a laptop bag kind of looks like a hiking one but it's for a laptop can opener I'm trying to get to this let's see whoa all right we got stuff falling out here everything's falling hold on this is how it goes when you start moving stuff calls avalanches oh 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 goodness great stop it all because that thing's crooked so it's just sliding down all right microsoft authorized refurbisher so some kind of refurbished something dc 20 hp dc 2500 2048 mb 160 gigabyte dvd windows 7 hp 64 oh here it is refurbished pc intel dual, dual core 2 processor so it's a computer there that's been refurbished ice cream maker what is this massage pillow look at this thing right here big old look, RC helicopter they definitely liked RC helicopters or liked to try to sell them if that's what they were doing this was sliding down. What is it? A little portable speaker, Bluetooth. You get through some more little stuff in this thing while I have the chance. I got some stuff out here. We'll throw all this. It's one thing when you're loading and you get these loose things, as soon as you get something that's not really full. But I've done that many times just load up half empty containers and then I need them, but they're already buried on the truck so I can't get to them. Find a good place to set that in a minute. But yeah, lots more stuff to dig through. We got a Papazon chair down there. Looks like some other chairs, but man, there's still just a load of stuff buried in here. Including a laptop here, Toshiba. Work zone drill. Clothes. These are I haven't really looked at any of these clothes yet. I don't know if any of them, them are new or, or not. You know, like all the other new stuff we're finding. There's a tablet. Those are all weights, like ankle weights. And there's probably a heavy little basket. Some shoes and one. I think this is like sold at Walmart. But, I mean, they're brand new. I mean, they're only 20 bucks, but you should be able to get $10 for a pair of brand new shoes. In the case right here, Goodyear Racing. All right, we got a Goodyear 24 volt drill. Got the charger. Got all the sockets. Like this would be like for you know 
changing lugs, impact wrench lugs. I've never really seen Goodyear brand, but as far as on a drill. All right, there's that laptop bag that I first showed you. Looks kind of like a hiking backpack. Then look, a brand new Swiss gear laptop bag. I know those are like 65 bucks and up. And then look right here, a brand new Alienware laptop bag. That's pretty cool. So this good stuff just keeps on coming and coming and coming out of this thing. Definitely a, a I mean, I was hoping it's going to be like this, but you don't ever know how it's going to really turn out until you get in here. But this one's turning out exactly like you would hope when you're guessing and hoping that, it, you know, it's going to be new stuff. You still don't really necessarily think it's going to be this much new stuff. All right. There were a few bags of clothes here, but I think those those were all used. Those were the person's clothes, and they smell like mothballs, too. So I guess they had mothballs thrown in the bags now these clothes here look like they're all going to be new i mean that's just walmart but i think those are all going to be new clothes look at that thing right there too we got one of these work zone little metal carts that's pretty cool so yeah more clothes i think like these are some of the other ones back there probably i found more of the laptop bags and just everything i touch just more and more stuff there's a night owl security camera vandal proof bracket knives there's a fryer a burner magic bullet another fryer looks like maybe poker chips or a grill set back there and just more and more look another helicopter all the way back in that corner they like these helicopters whoa, whoa. and nice little card case luggage here but it feels like there's something in it Let's see what may or may not be in this thing. Devosa? All right, where's the zipper? Here we go. Is that the... And inside of here, look, knife set, knife set. It's full of knife sets. One of those mandolin slicers, but... Um, Several, oh, there's a drill too. So knife sets, slicer, drill. So full of more brand new merchandise. It's about 90% new. And the good thing too is this, it's not just one category, it's all different stuff. So a nice mix, something for everyone in here. All right. This thing just keeps coming and coming. Even though it's not a big unit, I keep loading and loading and loading. A couple brand new Zebco fishing poles. I'm back here on the back wall and look, it's just a wall of mostly new items. Desk lamp, Black & Decker toaster oven, um, food dehydrator. What is that? Swivel push-up bars. There are, there's a container, there's a big, um, an old printer box. I don't know what's going to be in there. Channel mess, another antenna, another speaker system up there. And then more little stuff in containers. This big chair sitting here in the floor. Here's an office chair. And then kind of over in this here, there's a aluminum hand truck. All kinds of stuff. Still haven't gotten to that yet to see if that's a poker set or what. There's a bubble gum machine. A little George Foreman grill. Lots of little small stuff. So that when it's all this small stuff, it does take a while to load up versus big boxes. But I'm working on it. As soon as I'm done with this, we'll move over to the next one and see what surprises we're going to have over there. I think it's going to be another good one also.
All right, in the case is oh, a brand new grilling set. And look what's right here. Let's see, a scale, but then there's two, are these TV boxes? Toshiba 32 inch HD LCD TV. That's in there, that's in there. Looks like they're new, not 100%, but I think there's two new TVs right there. Oh, it's in this big white box right here. Oh, an office chair. Office chairs are can be big money. Actually, look, there's a there's another office chair. Leather office chair. One, two. I bet that's what that is. I think that's what that is. Um office. I'm 99% sure that's what it is. So three office chairs. Oh, and it's all sealed up all around the edges and everything. Three office chairs, couple TVs, all these goodies. So, almost done here. As you can see, I'm all the way in the back, and definitely a great, great unit. I mean, an unbelievable amount of sellable stuff for not that big of a unit. And it wasn't even packed, it was full to about right here. It wasn't even like jammed in here, but so much stuff. So much good stuff, a lot of stuff I haven't even seen that's down in the boxes and everything. But sometimes, sometimes you look out, it's a little bit of luck, but a little bit of you just kind of over time, there's little signs that I could see in this one that led me to believe it could be something like this. You don't know exactly if, you know, that it's gonna be mostly new stuff like this, but for some reason, there's a lot of units out here, out there like this that's a lot of new items and you can kind of get a feel for them sometimes by looking at the pictures. All right, I just pulled out all these office chairs and look at them, all brand new. All three of them are leather office chairs. Those things are not cheap. We move down here, dehydrator, uh, digital picture frame. Here's a bag here with more new stuff in it. Um, like a skillet or something there. Another one of those slicers, a couple more of them slicers. Oh man, look at this right here, Macy's. Stainless steel, um, 12 piece stainless steel, pot and pan set. I don't know why I couldn't think of what I was thinking of that. Something stuffed in there. There's a exercise machine, similar to that. That is the Gazelle. I can see the name on it now. That looks similar to a Gazelle, but slightly different. I know it's dark back here. Oh man, shoe polish. Lots of little stuff in here. Lots of little bitty stuff. Oh, this is heavy. Good lord. Ugh. Dr. Scholl's. Oh, look at this. Got some Dr. Scholl's gel insoles, but then what do we have here? Oh, it, I thought it was records. It's laser video disc. Journey to the center of the earth. I thought it was new, but it's still got the plastic, but it has been opened. So these are all laser discs. Samson and Delilah. Die Hard 2. I don't know if any of these weren't really worth much. I don't know if any of these are worth much now. Clint Eastwood, the Dirty Harry Collection. I'm sure there's probably a few worth a few bucks, but not really sure right offhand. Bruce Lee, the Chinese Connection. But these are all look nice and clean. And obviously they have the, the covers here. Games of Death, Bruce Lee. Return of the Dragon, Bruce Lee. Panther. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So that's a little bit different something there. And then I want to look and see what's in these last two boxes before we move along. What is this? Just blankets and stuff? But then underneath... Whoa, look at this. Um, oh, an impression of polo cologne, you know, like the fake stuff that smells like something so an impression of sean john okay but it's still new those fake ones do sell more of the dr shoals and it looks like what do we got books in here treasure island well, that's a cool looking book so, but yeah mostly books there's some other stuff invitations and no telling what's down in there it's so dark in this corner though I don't want to keep hanging there. And then one more thing I just noticed. Look at this. 
some kind of a case here. Ooh. Samsonite briefcase. Underneath that, air mattress. Let's see. Is it unlocked? It is. What's going to be in here? Um, well, looks like several cameras. Camera, camera. We got a lot of corrosion there from the batteries, it looks like. So, some old cameras. They're digital, but these are definitely older ones. It is a Canon, though. Canon. I mean, that's not even a digital one. All right. That is all I'm going to show for this one. Let me finish it up and I'll show you the next one.